Hello and welcome. It's video number 50. Yeah! <laughs> Who can believe that we have done five zero videos? We've actually done more, but 50 is a pretty good achievement, even if we don't count the extras. Video number 50 is happening today on Wednesday, 12th week into lockdown, and it's raining, so it's a wee bit cooler. I'm a little bit more comfortable, and I hope you will be too. Video number 50 will be a celebration of everything that we've done so far. Um, your body will be included in this workout. You've got your bar and your band. That's the glute band. You can have your yellow long stretch band, and then we'll have the roller with the hand weight. So good morning, Jane, and great to celebrate our number 50. 50 um, is pretty good going for Pilates and Captivity. Good morning, Susan. Let's hope that everyone that wants to be in the room can get in the room. I know that sometimes the band scenario is just a bit poor, but what the heck? Good morning to the people tuning in to video number 50. Video 50 is a celebration of everything we've done so far. Good morning, Linda, and good morning, Anne. Um, we will celebrate as best we can. Let's hope we kind of finish this moment sweating. Um, the segments are kind of intense, but not prolonged. So don't think, oh, how many more of these? There's more or less eight to 10 of anything and everything. And once you've done the eight to 10, we'll move on and find another part of the body to hit. Great to see you in the room, Ken, video 50. I wonder how many of you, let me know if you've done all 50 or let me know when you finish all 50. Good morning, Sarah and Kay's in the room. And here we have Linda Henratty. She's gonna be here today and tonight. Can you believe it, Lindsay? No, I can't believe there are 50 videos. And they're all documented. Good morning, Emma. We're having a bit of a run on people doing it every day, which is amazing. Um, today, video number 50 in theory makes up day, oh my goodness, day nine, I think, of my Pilates series. So there's a day 10 tomorrow for even the Pilates series, bringing your body out of lockdown. Mena Reese, grand to see you in the room. And yep, celebrating 50 videos today. So we closed and we just got on with the job, all of us. Um, it couldn't have just been me doing 50 videos, it had to be there as an audience, because otherwise I'd have found another occupation. <laughs> um, so well done for sticking with me and us doing this journey together. 50 videos, Diane, 50, wow, and that's not even my age. Congratulations to us all. We've stuck this out. Yes, we're getting fed up, but we have stuck it out. <laughs> Today, I feel as though just seeing the number five zero kind of gives a reason to... I don't know, breathe deeper and be very proud of ourselves. None of us have stayed immobile and sluggish, sitting around slumping um, sofas and TVs. We've really got on with keeping as active as we can. Morning, and good morning, Carol. You all appreciate my effort and I seriously appreciate your effort, no question, um, but it's a duality of contribution to these moments. And it'll keep us going um, until we can get back into this studio. I am starting to move the studio around in the long, strong desire that I'll start to see small pockets of people in here safely. Good morning, Lorna. Lorna's someone who I'm fairly certain has possibly done all 50 videos. Um, in fact, quite a few of you have. Will you let us know if you've done all 50 and let us know um, how many you have done, more or less? Tom, good to see you in the room too. He's celebrating our 50th with us. So Tom's trying to get in on the 50 moment in preparation for a Friday. We might kind of celebrate the video 50 on Friday particularly. Claire, good to see you here again. So many of us are managing to tune in. I'm just checking the time. We're just at the um, nine o'clock time, so I'm kind of more likely to start in about 60 seconds. For those just tuning in, it's video number 50. It's celebration time and the weather's gorgeous, isn't it? Hi, Maria. And... The start position today is going to be the bar with your glute band. So get yourselves with your glute band. Remember, if none of this equipment is available to you, you don't use it. It all, will all still work without. And at some points you'll feel as though it's easier without it. And at other places you'll wish you had it. Whichever way, hello Leslie, we're going to start, um, she says, with your glute band. So find this glute band here. Once you've got your glute band, you then need to get your chair if you haven't got a ballet bar at home, which I don't think a lot of you have. Standing, getting ready, I'm not gonna launch into anything. I'll take my glass off actually. Um, it's the only workout I do in the day without glasses, which is how I prefer to be. 
everyone, stand and be very proud of yourself. We have 50 videos under our belts, around our thighs, in through our abs. Our body should be less locked down than a lot of people who haven't managed to do this. Your feet are parallel. You're breathing deeply in and out. You're feeling the length and the strength of 50 videos within your whole soul. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's go straight to your squats. If you want to hold the bar, you can. And remember, the rollers taught us how not to drop the chest too low. Tom Bathgate, Susan Hurst. You take the squat, only bending, flexing at the hip and straightening. I said in my little opening ramble that we'll aim to do around 8 to 10 of every shape because I want to get through the bar with the glute band, followed by the yellow band, followed by the roller with the hand weights. Next time you find this squat, stay. You can either keep the hands on the bar or put both hands on the hip bones, but for this moment we're mobilising and core connecting. Look how low my chest hasn't gone. Check, it's all in the right places. Breathe out to pelvic roll into gentle imprint. That's all it is. Breathe in and extend that tailbone backwards. Breath out, it's your pelvic floor nail to spine. Flex through the lower back and breathe in and back. Remember you don't pull your bum cheeks tight to do this. You find your obliques and you find your pelvic floor. You've two more, breath out, keep the weight through the heels and into the outsides of the feet, spread your toes. Last time, exhale to pelvic tilt and inhale and you're back into your neutral squat, standing up. Now exhaling to roll to tiptoes, use the bar, inhale and lower down. If you're in a position where you feel like you want to celebrate and find your inner ballerina at the bar, then you can allow an arm to float up as you roll through your ankles and from this positioning here, there's no leaning backwards or forwards. There's this length through the spine and the power through the breath. We're going to take it into the squat, followed by the tiptoe. So you're ready, we go tiptoes and into the squat. Up into your tiptoes and down into your squat. If you're a little off centre, off balance, and you've got a small space, keep the arm by the hip bone, fingertip to the hip bone, encouraging this alignment and remember the breathing in and out in this movement pattern can be whichever way makes sense but it has to be a breath moment we've got one more where we go down and we come back up so this time up you go and stay hold your tiptoes position now breath out pelvic tilt and release exhaling to tilt that pelvis staying lengthened using not the glute squeeze but pulling up through the pelvic floor you'll find a little bit of hip bone connection pelvic tilt to make sure that you return to a neutral posture. Here we go with flat back parallel. Inhale, down you go. Your thigh band just gives you a reference point in this position of parallel. Don't worry about using the band, it's soon going to become part of your thighs. We're going down and up and I notice I scribbled and wriggled everywhere, so lower, bending the knees and push up tall. Inhale to lower. Exhale up tall. Always monitoring pelvic bones being level from left to right and the sit bones feeling for the heels in their alignment. When you go down this next time, stay down and have a quick look at your thighs. We're going to breathe to stretch the upper, th the upper thoracic area. So exhale now and bend over the rib cage. Inhale and extend and push your chest to ceiling. Exhale, it's a forwards bending breath out, the oblique short and the upper back stretches. Inhale and you're opening through the shoulders. Two more, exhaling, lower back does absolutely zero. Inhale and extend. Last time, inhale and extend. And your final position here is to do eight, end range movement, feeling the muscle that leads to your knee joint and feeling pleased with what you've done so far in your lockdown life. Breathing deeply in and out. Nurturing the muscle that goes over the inside of the knee. Nothing in the joint itself. Your heels are raised, but not overly raised for you bendy wendies like Diane and Lindsay. Two, one, and all the way up, grow really tall. And as you come down, go straight to your turnout. So you've got your Pilates V. It's not massive. It is 10 to or 10 past the hour. This is where the band starts to hit the body. Go straight to your plie squat and start the connection with your band, sorry about the clanking, it's getting louder and louder next door, so I'll shout louder. Pull your thighs against the band and let the thighs help you stand up. 
Down you go, keeping the hinge and not dropping the chest more than the spine length, staying in neutral. In other words, don't move your back. Your back moves because your hip hinges. Tune increasingly into the band, the thighs on the outside of them, not the knees, pulling the band into a stretch, resisting the words. Stay. Stay in this resistant position, the band is the resistance to get into your side bottom. From that position there, exhale to pelvic tilt. Breathe in and send the sitting bones back. It's massively um, important that you notice that the pelvis truly tilts. Now, if you use a bum squeeze, it's what's called a gross moment. If you use pelvic floor and obliques, it becomes a rehab moment because you're helping the internal muscles that make up the thigh bone to the pelvis work to realign. The breath out has to be the origin of the connection. Stay now into your neutral position, hand to the bar and standing tall, pull the thighs together and raise to tiptoes. Go down through the heels and find it and resist against the band. Up you go, the band will help you pull up tight and down you go, hinging at the hip, not dropping the chest. Tune into your belt, pelvic floor and the breath out. Inhaling down and hinging simultaneously, lowering the heels. Exhaling as you come up and pick up through the heels, inner thighs, no daylight between the upper leg. Inhale, down you go. And breath out, up we come this time, nicely warming up the glute med area. Stay where you are, postural check. Hip bone to hip bone, breath out and pelvic tilt. And really, you're tuning into your pelvic floor and your internal obliques. You're mobilizing the area that sometimes gets very confused. Tilt, keep the legs tight, two more. Some of you will go very little um, range just because you're already massively um, in what we call a flattened spine. Stay where we are in this shape here. So now you push the thighs against the band as you lower down and you have your flat back squat. Flat back plie wide and think of the band feeding the energy of pulling the inner thighs together as you squeeze on the heels. Go down, pull those thighs wide, pull back up, pull the thighs in. Inhale, you can either float your arm here and take it here. It really doesn't matter. What matters is that there's symmetry of your whole of your posture. Otherwise, there's little value and little point in doing what we're doing. Two more here, people. Down we go. Up we go. Resisting the twist. To stay down this time is where you play. Now in this moment, pelvic tilt again. What, the reason I do this kind of imprints, connect and release is because it reorganizes and it helps um, rebalance the body. Two more. And last one. Now we take it into our outer range, inner range, end range, whatever you want to see it as, it's intense. Keep the breathing, so you might inhale, down and up, exhale, down and up, feel for the band. Pelvis stays absolutely level. You're going to make this the last two. Make this the last one. Squeeze the heels and pull your thighs tight together. Zip them up through the inner thigh, pubis to navel, and pull your heels down. Well done. You're going to face your bar or your chair, or you're going to just go here. Whichever way, we're trying to open the hip. Now, because the band is there, Obviously, the further up you take it, the more range you're going to get. So reposition it if you need to. If you're holding your bar, great. Otherwise, it's just a straightforward sit your bottom back. Big sumo moment. Pulling the hips backwards, hinging at the hip, feeding the thigh. Your feet are in turnout. No more turnout than there would have been in the opening Pilates V. Two more down here. One more. And stay. Now, I want you to tuck under as best you can so that you're no longer um, in much more sumo. So you're not here, you're here. Your thighs are open and now we increase the width of the hip. The band makes it more intense but actually makes it more accurate in making the abductor, the side bottom working. And if you're breathing and doing all the things I can't do while I talk, you're making those moments count, okay? So inhaling and exhaling. Pulling the knees wide and over your second toe. Last two. Last one. And 
and all the way up you go. You're going to come to your bar and go to parallel. I'll show you in this position here, so your parallel position, everyone find your squat, your elbows will bend, so your hands are on the chair surface or the work surface, the chair um, back it would be, wouldn't it? Hips are hinged, stay where you are, and take your right leg backwards, leave it where it is. Now take your right heel to your bottom. We still have this our start of the exercise, so we've got both legs bent, and then both legs are going to reach up to the ceiling. Inhale, pull the leg down, exhale, push up. I'm making it a bit more dynamic than intensely technical. So you crouch and stand. I go away from the surface to the surface. Pull both knees to level, push one leg to the ceiling. If you can't push the leg up and down, then just hold it lower and make your standing leg do the work. But if you can expand the band, expand the band, ground the whole foot, but keep the arch active. You've got one more. And you come down, place the foot down, and standing up. Okay, you've got the other side. Breathe, centre everything from hip bones to armpits. Bend your elbows, bend the legs, check both thigh bones are level, and take the leg back and then up. Check that the knees are level in this crouch position as you push and sit back. Exhale, push. Inhaling. It matters to put more load through your left hand because your right leg is the ground leg. So your left hand should help you stay more dominantly aligned from hip to head. If you're putting all of your weight through your right hand and right leg, you're more likely to twist. The sense of getting as you do this activity is lots of hamstring glute connect and lots of breath activity. Two more. Stretch through the whole foot. One more. And pull the legs together and push yourself up. You're ready for curtsy. So you've got your turn out, your heels are together, you've got your Pilates B, have a breath. Check that you've got your alignment. Have your hand on here. You may still want to face the back of the chair. I'm just giving you a better view here. Find the clear position to start with. Remember, don't drop the chest. Let's pick up the outside foot, whatever that outside foot is, and take it behind. You've got the same, sit back and push up now. Sit back. So it's the turned out version of what you did in parallel. You crouch in and you push against the band. Tune into the band. Exhale, expand the breath out. Inhale. I'm staying in a diagonal line. It's obvious that I'm not suddenly throwing my chest up. And the push and pull comes with both legs. I hold the band to keep as much alignment through the trunk as I can. Three more. And two more, last time, and up you come, your two sides. Now, if you're wanting to face the screen, obviously carry on like this and just hold, otherwise in your own time you'd turn your body around. I'm gonna stay this way just because it gives you a better view. Find your plie, keeps the rules. Pick up the other foot, just take it behind a bit. Sit back, that's your setup, and push. Sit back and push. Plie, curtsy. The activity has to go to the side bottom and to the oblique, not to your knicker line. If you can't for some reason take the back leg off the floor, this then, as you know, is your shape. The pulling the thigh bones wide. As you push to a straighter line, you've got that diagonal. Otherwise, it's uh, three more here. Sit deep back, stretch out, strengthen up. Stretch the hamstring glute connect, strengthen it up. Last time, and up you come. Take a moment, have your feet in parallel. We'll do a full roll down, so to roll down you bend your legs. Have your hands here, big breath in. Nod the chin through forward, breath out. Down you go. And place your hands to the floor, your legs are bent. Your chin is to your chest. Push down through the hands and then exhale and straighten the legs. Inhale and bend. Keep the rib cage to the navel, the navel to the spine.
behind, the hands push and your legs reach as straight as they can without you tucking your bottom under. You two more. You've one more. You finish with bent legs, find your heels and tuck your bum under to return your posture all the way up into your standing neutral alignment and get the hair out of the face. Ready for what we call the karate moment. You're going to go back into your squat. Hands are wide now as you abduct and can you see that? So I've got my right leg pushing up and down, my left leg open and closes in a bent shape. Start to leave the thigh bone up and the chest or shoulder goes down as the thigh goes up. So you tip the whole body and tip the whole body, tip the whole body. Your angle is staying in neutral and it's the thigh bone pushing against your band and the whole of your foot on the connected leg working really hard. Two more, one more and legs together. Are you ready for the other side? I'll slow it down, I think I'm getting a bit excited. Find the squat again. Squat, you're here, remember that's the squat. You then float your other foot off the floor but keep the thighs level. You're loading your left heel, your left armpit, hand. Exhale and just expand, inhale and contract. The opening of the leg and closing starts to get bigger as you get the feedback of your form. Breathe out, push. Um, I'm pivoting through the left thigh bone to pelvic position and the left shoulder armpit. I allow my whole upper body to open and close, pushing the ground away with the left heel and the left hand, pushing the work surface away. Exhale, inhale, we've got three more. One, two, last one, make it good, and all the way down you come, and all the way back up. Well done on that bar moment. You need to take yourself now to the floor. So on the floor, there's a couple of uh, moves that the glute band is brilliant with. Sit yourself up just to get yourself down basically. Have your arms here, big breath in. Exhale and roll over that seat area that's got so involved, all the way down. Once you're down there, head down and breathe deeply in and out. Find your calm in lying on your back and pull your heels under your sit bones. So initially, you're in absolute neutral. We're going to start moving and eventually the band will be part of what we do. Breathe out to nod the chin, curl without tucking under. Breathe in and come back down. Exhale, open mouth, inhaling and back down. Find your breath. And if you're feeling sorry for yourself because it feels hard, try talking all the way through it. I thought today might be a bit cooler. I'm absolutely sweating. Inhale down, exhale out. Remember you are in neutral, stay there, breathe in. Exhale, pelvic tilt, put your hands to your thighs and bring both legs up. Inhale, put the head down, hold the side of the band, breath out, curl and stretch the legs. When you're doing this opening moment, the legs need to be absolutely lined up on the breath out, the belly abdomen needs to pull away from your clothing and into the floor. Inhale, the chin stays to chest. Exhale, stay. Go to turn out. Now frog your legs and push. Stay flexed up if you can. Pull the thighs against the band. Expand and lengthen the legs. Breathe in deeply. Navel to spine, imprint the spine. Inhale back in. Exhaling, really drive through your abdominal area. Two more. And one more. Stay and take your legs back to parallel. Pull them up and put your head down. Exhaling now and take the leg down away from the other leg. And then curl up. Stay centered. Inhale. Exhale, switch. 
pull down with the leg that's low, pull up with the leg that's up, and then exhale, switch. Legs moving absolutely um, aligned, and they're feeding from the band, aren't they? So you're, you're getting a bit of an assist here. This is where the glute band is your friend, because it helps you feel a connection that maybe you otherwise don't have. Two more like this. One more like this. Here we go, one more. And then pull both legs together. And we'll try our famous roll over sideways. Exhaling and rolling over. Hands up, you can onto your armpit, shoulder, elbow. Just here then. This is our shoulder stability for the first time in terms of single arm. Your heels are level, pointing to your sit bones, and the neck is long. The elbow feels the load. Initially, sink the waist down and pull the waist away. Put your hands on your hip bones. Inhale, let that be a flexion here, the whole body flexes. Exhale and push till you feel your lats and serrats and this waist shorten here. Couple more, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Stay in a suspended position here. Don't sink. So the activity is not about the leg. The activity is about your ability to stabilize the trunk in a side shape, switching on the internal external obliques and the armpit lats and struts, which are part of it. And then we're adding to that the exercise that's a bit like clam. As you breath out, you open and inhale, slow, 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 lower. Feel the band pressure increase and decrease. Feel with the breath out, the underneath oblique, as you push the floor away continuously. So as you stretch your band, imagine pulling your waist away from the floor internally. Exhale, press against the ground with the side of the thigh that you're lying on and your forearm. Inhaling, two more. And one more. And now let that go. Put that foot in front. You've got energy going through the pelvis. You know what's coming, don't you? Big breath in, breathe out and lift your hips up and breathe in and come back down. Breathe out, go and press into the ground with the shin side and the flat foot. Push into the ground with your elbow and back down. If you want to take your hand away, you can reach and return. If you want to keep your hands here, you can. If it helps you to turn the head as you go up, and down. And don't tell me I'm not cueing the breath because I can only say so much. You understand deep breaths are in and out. Now breathe out on the lift. Breathe in as you go down. Exhale on the lift. And people, let that go. Sit up tall. Forward bend and stay. If you can't have your legs straight, then simply bend them. But what you want to do is lose the tension through the shoulder. The reason I'm going a little bit pacey is because I want to get it all in. In your own time, you can do video 50 in little breaks, okay? They are segments in and of themselves. We're going to go to the other side. So are you ready? Other side, onto your hip, onto the side of your elbow, and have your elbow under your armpit. The heels are pointing to your sit bones. The all important alignment from hip bone to hip bone. Remember our hips, particularly females, although it's true of males as well, females just move a wee bit more. Um, we don't have usually a natural symmetry. In doing this kind of pulling down and pushing the ground away, you're switching on. If you can use the shoulder and the obliques, exhale to lift here, the inhale to pull yourself into a side bend, breathe out push yourself. So it's almost as though you go the other side of the bend, doesn't it? You can play around with your palm to the ceiling, can palm down, but if you've got enough to think about, maybe that doesn't help you. People, you're working on single shoulder stabilisation and mobilisation. It's your last one. And stay. Elbow under armpit, ground yourself as though you're pressing the ground away with your forearm. If it's too intense with the palm flat, that's to do with the front of the shoulder, so go palm open. Whichever way, practicing keeping a neutral alignment as your heel stays to heel and you expand the band. 
if the neck gets tired, allow it to look down. Somehow, having the head look down can be nicer. Whichever way, your neck is usually tired because you're not core stabilizing through the pelvic floor, through the internal oblique, all of your waist muscles, which can only be found through breath. So exhale and inhale. I believe we've got two or three more. Exhaling, inhaling, you can feel this area from the hip bone. Breath out and breath in. Do one more. I'm quivering. And there you go. Now put your foot in front. Find your shape. Initially have your hand ready. The breathe out, push the ground away with your elbow and your shin and your foot and come back again. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale and lower. Breath out and lift. Inhale and lower. Lift and turn the head and turn the head forwards if that helps. Whichever way, imagine this band leg helping to lift your underneath leg as you push down on the shin, the side of it, and your armpit. Think armpit. Two more. It's armpit. One more. Keep that back. Armpit. And let that go. Once again, sit up and flow your arms. Create absolute symmetry. Flow your arms forwards and relax the shoulder. Allow your arms to go behind you for a moment so that the shoulder joint itself is allowed to gain its space. People, there ends the um, glute band work. So take your glute band off and bring yourselves to find your yellow band. So the glute band is gone. And my yellow band, I took to the toilet early. Just one moment. <laughs> so the truth is, always as a teacher, have your equipment ready. Don't take it with you where you go. Okay, I'm back. Sitting on your bottom, you find your yellow band, wherever you took your yellow band, hopefully not where I took mine, and get everything level. Your yellow band, stretch band, long band, is the most useful tool, unless your daughter snapped it, it's your most useful tool for learning to mobilise the spine. We start this little segment here, rolling the spine, and using the band as a means of going to places you can't go to naturally, in other words, it will support in mobilising from pelvis through the lower back, through to the upper back and shoulders. I would say if you're really um, stiff and you need more assistance, you hold your band near your ankle. If you're a little bit more um, stable and mobile, hold it so that there's tension on it when your le legs are bent, arms are bent and hands about the sides of your knees. People, we just start breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. And I want to emphasise that until you've done several breaths in and out in a seated position you won't know where your hip pelvic bones are the sit bones and you won't know whether or not you're level so do the breathing to allow the body to connect to the ground through the sit bones through the heels and only the breath remember can do that now that you've been doing that big breath in again to prepare the work and as the breath out happens start to roll off your sit bones without letting your hands move it takes you to your first flex of the lower back Breathe deeply in, breathe out, bend your elbows and feel a smooth articulation back to seated up, right shoulder blades drawn together, inhaling. Exhale, the hands stay where they are, you pelvic tilt, you roll into that flex, you breathe in, you notice any indiscrepancies in alignment, you breathe out, bending the elbows is the cue to make sure the right muscles pull you back up. Let's develop this. Same thing again, exhale, pelvic floor, nail, spine, stay. Here's where we prep the roll down. Our arms are now straight. With the next breath out, you'll tuck your bottom under and feed, feeling for the sacrum, that's the back of the pelvis below the waistband, feeling the pubis reach the ceiling. Your arms go straighter. I can imprint my lumbar spine, breathe in. Same principles coming back up. Start to bend your elbows until you find yourself hands by knees back to where you started. Inhale to prep, exhale the start is the pelvic tilt and stay. Now my arms are straight, my pelvis is tilted with symmetry. 
We feed down now, breath out, shrink. Breathe in again, breathe out, shrink, tilt the pelvis, pull the hip bones backwards of the thigh bones, keep the thigh bones parallel and with symmetry, laying further down, further down, this time big breath in. Chest is wide open, pull your elbows into your hip bones as you bend, breathing out, drill all the way back up and seated. This is your last one, inhale, breath out, you tuck under and your arms are straight. Change happens here when rules are followed as you pull back the, the feeling of both hip bones pulling back with equality. Nothing's happening in the lumbar. You feel the pelvic floor connect. Breathe. And if you can lay the spine all the way down, do so. Exhaling then people, nod with your chin in. Bend your elbows, but still use pelvic floor and rib cage oblique connect two more. Now that was really pleasant. You're going to now do something less pleasant, which is your teaser prep. Pull your heels a bit further back. If you can't do this teaser position, I want you to go and lie on your back. So I'm fully aware that some postures by the age and type cannot do certain things. Please take yourself to your back and do the exact leg work lying on your back with the yellow bands. That'll give you more than practicing this. The first thing to do is find that backwards lean. Breathe in, breathe out to pelvic tilt and know that you feel your bikini area, hip bone to hip bone, Ken. Make sure you know where your bikini area is. Now pull your elbows so that you're pulling back against your hip bones with the elbow point and more of a fist with the band because you want to assist as your lower leg drifts up Breathe in and let the lower leg, bending the knee, go down. Breath out, feel enough about the band with the legs that it helps you come up and down. Exhale. My knowledge of people knows that you hold your breath at this point. Don't hold your breath. Try this, big breath in. Start the breath out, feel the compression of the abdominals and know how much easier it is. Let's do that again, big breath in. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and back down. You've got one more breath in. Inhale, exhale, and back down. And that's all we have time for. I was going to use the band for a little bit more, but we can't because I need to now use the roller as well. So find your roller and also find your handheld weights. So we have weights of work with roller work. To make this work easy to approach, do you like the way in which I've managed all the equipment? I'm very impressed with myself. I did wonder if I could add anything else, but the answer is no. You're sat as tall as you can, and your hip bones, back to that all important. Pilates without pelvic positioning isn't Pilates. It's just rehearsing your existing flaws. Keep your arms here. Have your arms reaching, big breath in. Exhale and put your shoulder blades together. Inhaling, hold, breathe out and close the shoulder without affecting the upper back. Inhale, exhale and open, sit tall. You're gonna stay here as we wake up the upper back stabilizers as you lower and lift, breathe. Your weights want to be held by your armpit and the upper back muscles, mid rhomboid, mid traps. Your mid back muscles are no use without your breathing muscles strengthening the trunk. So in this seated position, if you can tune into an hourglass type shape, the exhaling shrinking in at the sides and the front and the back of the waist, and the inhaling trying to keep that. Breathe out and we're chasing away our seated lockdown slump, the COVID posture. Okay, two more here, one more, and as you come back, you're ready. You're now going to do your rolling down, exhale, the roller will go with you, pull the rib cage down and forwards, and then roll off your sit bones, similar to what you did with the yellow band, but it's different again, your legs are heavy, and you find the spine rolling down. Float your arms to the ceiling, and put your feet on the roller. 
Heels are on the roller, shoulder blades are down on the floor. Your pelvic position is neutral, so check it out. While you're getting used to being in neutral and heavy, inhale and open your arms without quite going to the floor. Exhale, that hourglass core connect nails the spine away from the clothing. Inhale and open. Big breath out. Now inhale, open. And as you breathe out, press against the roller and lift your hips up and your arms open. And inhaling, lower the hips down. Big breath out. Up we go. Big breath in. Down you flow. It's a hip hinge. The knees push forwards as the arms close and the hips lift. The hips hinge down as your arms open. And three more. Get absolute symmetry, push against the heels as you pull up on pelvic floor. And last two, heels, hips, hollowed abs. Last one, heels, hips, hollowed abs. And then allow that to go. Take your arms forward, roll up, rolling through the roller. Final positioning, take the roller behind you. So I shimmy all usually to the front end of a mat. I make the roller straight, because I have a bit of an issue with nothing being straight. And then I sit my bottom on the roller. With your pelvic position to the roller, I'm aware that I'm on the black side of the roller. That's fine. You, you should really be on the grey side. I've got my weights ready. Lay the spine down. And then shimmy and wriggle in a bit of a pole dance um, to feel for everything being level Go to where your hip bones are, your pubis, nod up, look away where your thigh bones are and pull through the heel kind of under the not tucked back. So people like Donna, Diane, Margaret Liedl, don't drag those heels right to the roller. Keep slightly under the knees. You have a, an increased um, range of movement that's very unnatural. There you go. I now feel comfortable that I'm lined up. The back of my skull is on the roller. Some of you need a pad. I'm not here for long enough to deal with that on my own little body position, but if you're breathing deeply in and out, we need a little bit of asymmetry. In other words, you're going to allow one arm to go down sideways, inhaling, exhale and compress the abdomen and pull it back up, shoulders away from the neck. Inhale and let your other arm open sideways. Challenge the stability of the obliques, exhale, pelvic floor navel to spine if this is in your back go to gentle imprint once more over to one side inhaling and don't underestimate the requirement for the breath out power which is all oblique abdominals to lift the load back which because it's an asymmetrical load now exhale to pelvic tilt the lower back and curl up and stay. Inhaling, bend at your elbows, palms face the shoulders, exhale and open. Inhaling, shrink. Make an awful lot of the feeling of pulling everything down to the roller, everything from hip bone to hip bone, and you're rolled up to about the base of the bra area, Ken and Tom. Exhale, Inhale, you've got these bicep curls with oblique connect. Last time, inhaling. Keep your arms straight now and lay the spine down. Lower your arms down to the floor and put your weights like this, or if you haven't got weights, put your hands like this. Big breath in. Breath out to pelvic tilt. Pull your right leg up into tabletop and stay. Now take your left arm up in the air Keep your right arm to the floor, <laughs> breathe. Exhale, curl and reach the inside of that knee, lift that bent leg and inhale and back down. Breath out and breathe in. Breathe out, up you flow. Inhale and down you flow. The arm comes across the body and in. The chin rolls through the neck. And I took it out too far out sideways. Don't take it far out sideways and don't lose your concentration, Tanya. Exhaling. Stay. See if you can curl up higher. Stay.
day. Curl up higher. My leg is light on this side. Can you see how light it is? I can float it off the floor. And down you go. And return your legs. Return the hand down. Big breath in. Exhale to pelvic imprint. And now pick up the other leg. Breathe in. Breathe out, curl up. And then float your hand. So this is your setup. You're coming to the leg on the inside of the knee and you go down away from it. Breathe in. Breathe out, don't fake it. Flowing up and inhale, flowing down. Pelvic floor now, spine up, chin in, chin to chest continuously and down. Remember I'm light through the leg that's on the floor. Inhaling and down. Two more. And last one to stay. Exhale. Stay. Breathe. And more. And more. And more. And more. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Don't pull your knees in. And come all the way down and leave that leg where it is. Pick your second leg up in the air. Keep your arms on the floor, obviously. Big breath in. Exhale, curl and stretch the legs up. Inhale and bend. And roll. Roll down. Roll up and stay. Stay there. Exhale, lift the legs. Inhale, correctly lower. And compressing your abdominal. Tightening the inner thigh, keeping perfect alignment. You have one more. Inhale and down we go. Pull the um, legs back together. Take your weights into your hands. Your um, the moment that you can enjoy is to wriggle your legs away, and if you have to have them straight and abducted, do so. You can either use now the weights on the chest, on the rib cage, or if you need that sense of the chest being resistant to open where it is you're tight, then don't let your arms go to the floor. Make sure they're definitely below the armpit height and towards your hips. And just stay breathing deeply in and out to feel the rib cage compress and the abdominals connect. In this position, you don't want to flatten back. You want your natural curve of your spine, and as long as nothing's happening to your lower back, that's fine. Now, some of you, I'm aware, will need a pad under your head for this, and if you do, definitely don't use your weights. Um, maybe just have your hands across your chest, and that takes some of the load. The other thing you can do, if you can't just flail out on the roller, have your legs bent, because that takes some load out of the lumbar spine. People, I'm afraid that's kind of all we've got time for. So to save the command position, no way to sleep, but neither fall onto them. Do then slowly come off your roller. Act as though it's no big deal and tell yourself, well done, that was video number 50. And give yourself a goodbye wave. I will see you again here as we start 51 to 60. <laughs> okay, people. Um, lovely that you could join and glad that you too can celebrate the achievement we've made of 50 videos, hey? 50 videos, I reckon that's pretty good going. And I'm so thankful for you all for wanting to do it. Okay, you're my own video Pilates people. I suggest we say goodbye. I hope that most of you got that as a workout that was easy to access and not loads of comings and goings. Um, to say prolonging this, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Lots of love to you all, text me if you need me, make comments. And um, by all means, let us know how many videos you've achieved. Happy day, even though it's wet. Lots of love.